it is always uh, inspiring to talk about uh, Jersey and journey and uh, our olden days. Whenever anybody says, uh, tell about your story, uh, we start with uh, our initial days. But uh, yeah, a lot of uh, memories, a lot of excitement, a lot of struggle uh, till we reached uh, this point. So uh, basically, the uh, cream line is a brainchild of uh, four friends. So that is the uh, beginning. Uh, like any other uh, uh, students in college, we were all excited when pursuing our uh, dairy technology. So uh, we are almost uh, seven, eight of us together staying in the same place and uh, pursuing same dreams. Uh, during the final year of uh, our uh, college, so we did uh, our uh, dairy technology from Usmania University, a small place called Kamareddy, where uh, dairy technology was started uh, in the year 1979. So we were uh, second batch of the uh, college students and then once we are almost going through, it is a four year course, uh, dairy technology, professional uh, dairy technology and engineering course. So then towards end of our uh, education, we thought we all will go to US, United States for pursuing masters, uh, MS and uh, all of us applied uh, for it. So this is uh, what, what do you call fate or uh, tragedy or uh, God given strength. Um, five of them, uh, my, our other classmates have got v Visa. admissions, visas and uh, they all left for US. And two of us, we were uh, rejected by U.S. consulate, though we got admissions into the some U.S. and for some strange reasons. So we are always thinking about uh, setting up uh, our own activity. We were never too keen for employment, but of course, one or two years we thought we'll just explore. Uh, when we completed our graduation in 1983, we directly jumped into the action. First one or two years we struggled a lot uh, in finding what to do, how to do, explored various, not only dairy, uh, other activities. And then my other colleague uh, who is uh, my partner now uh, went to Amul, uh, he joined there and almost uh, one and a half year of uh, uh, hands down experience in the dairy technology and operations and all that. Yeah, meanwhile I started exploring. Uh, to work uh, to find out the rhythm and uh, that is when we found a lot of, uh, we, we basically went all to government dairies where milk is being wasted and uh, it is not uh, being handled properly. So then uh, there we found some opportunity uh, then decided to pursue this as our own activity. Uh, then what we did, uh, we formed a company. So, so that is that's when, when we started uh, the activity, um, apart from the, uh, we are four of us like uh, Chandrasekhar Reddy, he, is, uh, he worked in Amul for one and a half year and uh, Suresh Shetkar, uh, he is uh, agriculture graduate. We are our buddies from childhood and then Balraj Gaud. Four of us was uh, together uh, started this activity in the year uh, 1986 like that. So then we started pursuing this and uh, it took long time for us because uh, as a technocrats, as a first generation entrepreneurs, not uh, much of capital, all the middle class families and uh, uh, most of us are hands to mouth kind of a thing and parents, some of them are agriculturists, some of them are professionals. So it was a struggle in the beginning. Uh, we all kind of put with a great difficulty 50,000 rupees each and uh, pulled down a couple of lakhs. And then we decided on a project of a uh, milk. So at that time, milk was uh, reserved for uh, cooperative sector in 80s, so, uh, late 80s or early 90s. So if you want to start a dairy, it was not allowed. You can start some products in a small scale, but milk as a milk you can't pack and sell in the markets because it was reserved for cooperative dairy. So then we took 
permission under uh, technocrat section, we being a dairy technologist, we asked them that we'll prepare this milk and milk products like uh, ghee flavored milk kind of a stuff. So on that note, we made a project worth uh, 40 lakhs of, uh, with a project cost and we bought a small piece of land 40 kilometers uh, from here in the uh, near beyond the Medchel in Medak district. And uh, then we approached uh, uh, State Finance Corporation for loan. So they have sanctioned uh, 28 lakhs of loan, uh, which uh, so then with a struggle, it, it took almost two years to establish this plant. That was the beginning of the journey. So once we started, it was, uh, it was Greek and Latin for us, though we know the subject. But the uh, converting into business, converting into success, converting into products and then cash generation, all these were uh, real challenges for us. We just went uh, as a um, green uh, amateurs into the field. So initially it was very tough. We started making uh, these products. Dairy industry is a peculiar industry. Basically it works when all other sleeps this activity will be running around both milking, uh, milk pro, uh, production, milk operations and milk supplies, everything uh, during wee hours. So sourced milk from some uh, small farmers and sources and then we started converting into products. But once we started supplying in the market, uh, it, it was very difficult uh, to survive, lot of debts. Within four or five months we choked because we were buying from our own whatever little sources and when we are selling, uh, markets will take, sell, but they will not pay in time and uh, we used to go around and uh, market shop to shop and initially actually we made our own survey by just making some forms and uh, meeting each consumer and writing down. So like that it uh, went on for a year, year and a half. During that time, uh, we, could, we couldn't pay back our uh, installments to the state finance corporation. Within no time, uh, the officers came and uh, once or twice we survived, but later they came with a lock to seize the plant. So that was the kind of a pathetic situation we have gone through. Somehow we went to banks and we took some more loan. So then we could able to uh, sustain. So one miracle happened during this period. Somebody advised us uh, these products, uh, the cycle is very long. If you convert and sell, it takes long time to you get uh, cash flows. So during that time, we thought there was always a gap in the market in terms of uh, the quality of uh, milk supply, quality of uh, service. So that's when we decided to go into the milk and we started, uh, we bought a small packing machine and started uh, making pouched milk. Being a technologist, uh, we are very much uh, uh, taught that uh, cream is the most valuable product of the milk. So, and uh, cream line, cream line uh, is like malai, uh, people call malai. Malai is the most rich, rich part. So that's how we derived cream line is the name of the company. It's a purely a technical uh, kind of a thing. And then when we were uh, discussing about the brand, so again we thought uh, world over uh, Jersey is the uh, very popular breed and most uh, uh, surviving and most uh, milk producing animal. Uh, in olden days also, whenever anybody says Jersey, people used to relate it with a good milking animal. So that's how we thought Jersey, but the dichotomy is in this part of the country, uh, at that time, it was only buffalo milk. There is uh, no uh, cow milk and Jersey being a cow. So we just uh, tried to create a kind of a conflict in the minds of the people. Uh, like Jersey, our tag name was pure buffalo milk. So the moment they see, people used to ask us, like what, Jersey is a cow, how come pure buffalo milk? Then we used to get an opportunity to explain that uh, Jersey is a brand name, Jersey is a, a good milking animal but we deal with only pure buffalo milk. So that's how we used to win the consumers uh, in, the, in the very beginning. So that's how the journey started. And uh, then once we started milking, first time uh, we have given a small advertisement in a newspaper. And uh, on a Sunday, 
because it was very expensive to publish a ad. So, what we have given that uh, pure buffalo milk will be supplied at your doorstep every day. So, that was attracted by and the first day we got some close to 200 odd calls. Uh, so, we attended all of them individually about those calls like uh, who needs what and what consumer uh, insights. All these things since we are directly interacting with them we got and uh, within a week uh, we got around 500 liters of order in the, in the region of the uh, central Hyderabad, Himayat Nagar area. And uh, we started supplying it, uh, some of them our own and uh, we hired a couple of boys to supply these things. So this uh, initial 2-3 months of direct interaction with the consumer and supplying at their doorstep every morning and listening to them, attending their calls. So we got in-depth knowledge about uh, what consumer is wanting it. Uh, what kind of a uh, time, what kind of a supplies, what kind of a quality and all that. So, within 4-5 months we could able to clinch almost 4 to 5,000 liters of market. So, that has given a very good uh, moral boost to us and cash flows were uh, regular because milk uh, being every day or uh, they used to pay monthly cards. Some of them we used to collect at the month end or some of them in the beginning of the month like the different combinations. So, that has given some stability. And uh, during this time, uh, PV Narsimharo government, we should be, we all should be uh, appreciative of the, his bold moves in 1991. Uh, so he has opened up a dairy sector with the milk and milk products order. Earlier it was reserved, now they have made it open. So since they made it open, uh, we were al almost forefront uh, already into the market. So, we jumped into the action and then started procuring more milk uh, and uh, uh, basically as I was telling you, it is all insights into the consumer minds. Uh, uh, since we have hands on experience of interacting with the people in the trade and we were at the forefront in every, uh, because initially we four was the employees of the company. So, then only slowly we uh, gathered. So, what happens once this we reached this 30,000 liters? Uh, initially, we never uh, procured milk from directly uh, from the farmers. We were depending on the cooperatives. So, we went uh, to the cooperative head and the government and asked, look, we are establishing this market uh, and you supply milk. We do not go into the uh, farmers because it is a two people, cooperatives are like one of the established practice uh, across the country since uh, 30s, 40s. Amul established and uh, Mother Dairy, like locally Vijaya, Nandini, like that many brands are there. All of them are government brands and they command lot of uh, respect in the farmer community being a government organization. We thought let them go and procure milk instead of duplicating and uh, market being dynamic and market being service oriented and market being a uh, business uh, in its own. So, we thought we will pursue that. Um, so, then they agreed and started supplying and we used to buy from Sangam Dairy um, Guntur which is one of the good quality milk producer and that is how we established the, the 30,000 market. But wa what happened one fine day uh, because of growing resentment and uh, insecurity in employees of uh, the cooperative, they immediately stopped um, milk within one week's notice. They said that uh, we will stop. Uh, will not be able to give because of various political pressures and all that. So, that is when we have uh, the first shock uh, for us to source because we established 30,000 liters, so many retail consumers. So, then we started uh, running around uh, and in a week's time, uh, it was very difficult to mop that kind of a milk. We went to Tamil Nadu, we went to Maharashtra and we contacted various uh, cooperatives of other states who are producing, who are in surplus in milk. We bought, uh, bought milk from Madurai, we bought milk from Jelgaon. So, it was a real struggle and uh, suddenly the composition of milk changed. Um, Tamil Nadu being cow milk, uh, Jelgaon being buffalo milk, we used to come and mix the milk and supply to the consumer just to retain them. Um, and we used to uh, lose heavily because uh, transportation from far off places, some 700-800 kilometers, 1000 kilometers we used to bring milk. So, then that is when we 
decided, we faced some kind of a resentment also in the market that uh, your quality is suddenly changed. We tried to explain everyone, this is what happened and uh, we will come back with uh, proper solutions and then decided to set up our own procurement um, in 93, 94. And immediately we contacted few people, known sources, particularly in the Telugu states, uh, Andhra Pradesh, uh, Guntur, Prakasham, um, all those good milk belts. So there uh, we found four or five uh, good uh, gentlemen who are uh, valued, in, who has got experience in the milk procurement. And then we roped in. We formed five companies of small 10,000 liters each company where we have taken some stake and we convinced them that uh, we have market, we have experience and you have experience in procurement. Let us build uh, this uh, procurement and uh, sale entire end-to-end -end chain. So we could able to convince them and brought them into the picture and we established these four or five centers within six, seven months. And by the end of the year, we are back with our 50,000 good quality pure milk uh, in our kitty. And by that time, we will be able to establish 50,000 market also. So that's the biggest leap. And since then, we never looked back and started. Now, this is all operational uh, story. As you said, the branding is a different uh, ball game. Uh, once we established consumer confidence, uh, we established uh, all stakeholders confidence uh, because we used to in control of uh, everything right from production, procurement, production, supplies, uh, logistics uh, and uh, even agents. With everybody a kind of a connect was there, it's like a family, uh, it's a one big family with a thousand odd agents and uh, distributors and uh, um, logistics uh, employees. So that's how we grew as a unit and time to time we used to, uh, we have largely depended on the on-ground advertisement initially. It's all the small paintings at the POP, at the point of purchase, point of there purchase. could be some kind of a small board, small, mm -hmm. uh, ultimately it used to touch the consumer in terms of what they want because we know that wh what are their expectations, that's when we used to move, we never went to um, or television or high-end medias until we established fully. So once we started uh, expanding, um, then plant after plant, uh, we spread our wings. Uh, uh, Creamline's view is like uh, dairy operations across the world is a regional. Uh, you can cater with the two to three hundred kilometers radius. So there you have a plant, the procurement and supply fresh milk. Uh, to these consumers, it's all overnight. Like today, I procure by tomorrow morning, everything will be delivered, processed, pasteurized, everything in terms of good quality. So then we, once we established here, we moved to other places like uh, Vijayawada, uh, contiguous places. Established a plant there. With our experience, established a market. Then the the surplus was there in the. Um, our region and we could cross uh, within no time 1.5 lakh liters. So then we established uh, uh, processing at Chennai. We extended our operations to Chennai and then to Bangalore. So like that uh, entire South India plant after plant, currently we have 11 plants. And uh, to balance this, uh, this milk is a, a peculiar industry where you, you produce huge volumes in uh, flush and uh, lean, you will be shortage, like you will not be able to meet demand, but whereas in flush you will surplus by 40, 50 percent. So to conserve this, we have set up a integrated uh, powder plant, milk powder and butter plant at Ongol. So all the milk which is surplus will be sent to that plant and from there it will be converted into milk and milk powder. And then we extended logically to various value added products like uh, uh, butter, buttermilk, ghee, lassi, flavored milk, uh, milkshakes, like that product after product, uh, entire range, uh, uh, the paneer, uh, dood peda, like that uh, the various products were established. 
and uh, now once uh, more number of products are coming the brand's architecture will come into picture and how who are uh, the consumers in uh, tamil nadu karnataka andhra pradesh telangana kerala yeah so basically dairy industry in terms of organized players uh, in south india there are five to six players who are more or less uh, e- each one is uh, strong in one region it it's not uniform like a tamil nadu player is strong in tamil nadu and hyderabad players are strong in hyderabad and some of them southern andhra pradesh players are strong in um, bangalore uh, like that different so we command around now 10% 11% market share uh, in this region and some places we have 5 to 6% uh, like that each region is there uh, but in net net if you compare we'll be third or player in the entire uh, south india my native place is uh, near uh, suryapet in nalgonda district there is why so basically farming background but my father was an ayurvedic doctor uh, so we did our regular uh, till intermediate uh, it's all uh, routine but after that i tried for medicine uh, by writing entrance i couldn't get like uh, in that uh, m set or whatever so it's a, the next is agriculture bsc and next is dairy like that we ended up uh, there in in the hierarchy we got uh, admissions into all all my friends also more or less i am a science uh, based graduate uh, okay. science graduate or an intermediate science student Thank you. so in science student what happens uh, in your by pc exactly. And the the logical conclusion is everybody every parents want you to be a doctor <laughs> so everybody attempts and uh, some of them will succeed and uh, we couldn't succeed so then we landed up in the dairy technology no it's a kind of a, like uh, our brought up um, we were always uh, taught to be independent so that's uh, my from my parents uh, they used to always encourage so during that time there is no communication tools once you go out of a house uh, until you come back uh, nobody knows where are you where were you and all that so even in college in, in schooling onwards we used to be very independent and our parents used to encourage that uh, do whatever uh, whatever you want kind of a atmosphere was there in our house uh, so yeah once we completed imp- the other point is maybe because we we left home early uh, now at the age of 18 19 once you complete your 12th grade then you go out and normally in other countries it happens in western world they'll say that once i uh, attain uh, 18 years uh, thereby they are mandated they can they have to go out and find their own job or some kind of self supporting they live with their own friends and then pursue their uh, this thing that's how the Uh, entrepreneurship and uh, dynamism will come into the life so fortunately our uh, college being outside the hyderabad uh, at the early age we were pushed out of the house and then you start learning yourself you start searching yourself for uh, various things and uh, we used to cook ourselves and we used to uh, like live us without any support kind of a thing uh, it, it's all monthly uh, at month end we used to wait for our uh, Uh, monthly uh, some 250 to 300 rupees of uh, uh, monthly expenses from father money order we used money to come so with that we used to survive entire month so then you know that how to spend those money in a limited resources are limited and opportunities as being independent many so then uh, you have to ration it you have to live towards end of the month always used to be a struggle so i think our independent uh, uh, nature uh, in the college and even after coming out exploring on our own and okay lot of inspirations are there uh, whenever we uh, meet any person any business person who's doing well we used to uh, that used to excite us so that's how we landed up basically uh, we are a group of friends so that's how i we started the entire activity so the bonding was so uh, so close and so understanding so we never faced any issues uh, so right from beginning uh, we all grew up to, uh, together after college uh, we were hang out, we used to hang out together and then we all got married during uh, in the period of 2 3 months everybody and our children 
uh, are also in the same bracket all grew up together. So, we used to hang around uh, very closely and uh, go to uh, tours or excursions or uh, every year twice uh, together with the families. So, the bondage was so close, all these years we were uh, as a one unit. So, there was never any difference between a business and uh, personal lives. It, it was so interlinked and uh, so uh, closely knitted. Uh, so, that is how we developed understanding. And uh, by uh, nature, like which is the Chandra Shekhar Reddy, I said he went for Amul for a year and then he evolved as a uh, production man. As a technical man, he become technical director because his eye to keen, eye to uh, find uh, different solutions in the practically. He used to stay uh, in the beginning uh, 24 7 at the plant, uh, living with the uh, workers, living with the uh, farmers. So, he developed a kind of a interest in that. So, ultimately, he has become a technical director. And uh, uh, similarly, uh, Balraj Gaud was uh, more into procurement, he used to see the procurement activities, he is interested in, uh, uh, initially for some time, some market also used to roam around. So, markets and procurement and external activities and liaisoning, all these things he used to take care of. And uh, in between, Mr. Gangadhar has joined us uh, from Sangam Dairy uh, in 19 when we are just establishing. He was the uh, only professional in the company in terms of he is a chartered accountant and uh, he served as a DGM there. Uh, so, he has with a, uh, that was a, a one of the lacking area for uh, this friends group, the finance. So, that gap was filled by Mr. Gangadhar. So, that is how we have come uh, together and finance was completely his forte. So, while establishing this entire activity, there was one uh, slight uh, lacuna was there in our uh, group. Nobody was uh, uh, having a knowledge about finance and finance being one of the important uh, activity. So, during this journey, one of other partner Suresh Shetkar, who was uh, promoter director right from beginning. So, in the beginning itself, uh, uh, he was uh, uh, forced to enter into politics because his uh, forefathers were in uh, freedom fighters and um, his father, the grandfather was MLA, father was MLA. That is how he was lured into the subject and uh, ultimately he has become MLA, MP and all that. In the initial stage, uh, he has become passive. Like only uh, myself, Chandra Shekhar Reddy and Balraj uh, Gaud were uh, handling this. And uh, uh, this professionally, we were lacking this finance. Uh, so, that is when Mr. Gangadhar uh, entered into the our group. So, he was uh, fin uh, DGM finance in Sangam Dairy and from there uh, he joined us as a partner in, and he has become a finance director. So, that, that has strengthened our group much more. So, that now uh, fully we are integrated uh, because uh, Shekhar Reddy was looking at uh, technical aspects uh, being a only technical man and uh, Mr. Gaud was looking at uh, marketing and administration and kind of stuff and finance was Ganga. So, now everything was there for me. So, I used to manage administration and all that with the full support of my colleagues. Uh, I become a face of the organization in terms of dealing with uh, institutions, financial institutions and uh, markets. So, uh, basically uh, we are, uh, we have accustomed to a simple life. So, it is not very complex though uh, because we have seen all the uh, uh, right from uh, all the struggles in the life. And uh, we have never gone into a very wealthy ar ar aristocratic lifestyle and all that uh, st uh, till recently. My wife is housewife and uh, my son and daughter uh, were uh, studied in Little Flower School and then later Narayana and uh, CBIT engineering and now my son went to US for his masters in financial engineering. Later he joined Moody's as a financial analyst and now he is working on a startup. Uh, similarly, each of our friends' sons also, each one pursued their own passion. Uh, uh, not many are were interested in coming back into this field also. So, wealth creation, we uh, already, uh, we are on the path. Uh, so, but they are pursuing their passions and we never uh, stopped them because whatever they like, they should do. Uh, that was the concept. And for this entire family, support is there and uh, my wife uh, is also um, graduate and she used to, uh, uh, 
uh, she used to teach the children uh, to groom them into good human beings. That's the only point. Uh, uh, and uh, other point uh, in this entire activities. During 2004, uh, we joined with Godrej Agrovet as a uh, as a partner uh, because Godrej Agrovet is uh, one of the largest feed company in the country, and Godrej being a very uh, great uh, brand name and uh, for values, we share similar values. So all these uh, uh, years of journey, we never compromised on the value system. So that's the strength of this uh, organization. We used to. Uh, inculcate the same value system of a, uh, a common middle class, either consumer, because we, we take milk from farmers who will be struggling their entire life to meet both ends. And similarly, consumers are milk consumers are basic consumers. Like uh, we, 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 we used to uh, like. Uh, cherish the moments when a small baby who has grown on our milks for 20 years and uh, who come and join us as internship and all that, uh, when their pay, her, her or his parents say that our baby has grown on jersey milk for 20 years. So we feel we'll take that pleasure. So that's how our value system was there. We shared common value with Godrej. So when they approached us uh, for developing the um, milk uh, in the same given area, to double the milk uh, uh, by introducing uh, modified feed, we joined with them immediately. They invested 25 percent. So, uh, but uh, some of the experiments uh, uh, couldn't succeed the way we thought. They hired a gold rat consultants from Israel. They came and worked closely with us. We all worked, um, but later they have become a financial, in pure financial investor because uh, that particular project didn't work. But uh, they, used, they were uh, active in the board and they used to give suggestions, whatever required. For next 10 years, we worked uh, uh, together and we both understood each other. And uh, recently, during 2015, uh, we thought uh, uh, we'll take the organization to the next level. Um, currently, we are around 1200 crores uh, top line. We would like to double in three years, uh, three to five, four years. So then that's when Godrej took a, um, a further stakeholding. Initially, we started this with all small shareholders of our friends and relatives were there. They were there uh, with us for almost 20 years. Then we thought it, it, this is time to give exit if anybody wants. And uh, that's how we brought Godrej for further strengthening their stake to 51% um, and uh, move into professional management. like. We are already working since 25 to 30 years now and second generation is not very keen to take up the mantle. So what we thought then it is time to put a step back and uh, slowly uh, prepare a succession plan and professionalize the entire organization. Ultimately stakeholders value is key for any business. So and then with the help of Godrej Agrovet in 2015, we strengthened their stake to 51 percent and brought the entire professional management. Now we are we have become mentors to all this professional team. Almost uh, 10 to 12 CXOs of at various levels we brought in, and now we are actively guiding them to take forward uh, this to a bigger leap and uh, bigger value creation. And that's how we recently launched many products, long shelf life products. Now we are using uh, uh, distribution network, retail network. Mm, the growth is much faster. So some of the products like curd and all that are, uh, it's a revolution uh, in the entire country. Earlier uh, curd used to be made by housewives at home. So now slowly, very uh, steadily converting into the purchased curd. Like, uh, Mark my words, in next three, four years, nobody will, uh, they say people stop making curd at home. They are buying, they are buying the curd by kg, by 200 grams, 100 grams. Even a uh, typical labor who is going for uh, construction labor, going for work also, buying a 200 gram pack and uh, eating in their lunch. Because it's a laborious process of heating and waiting for some time and setting. Because of the temperatures, it may set, may not set. So we are seeing excellent growth of 20% uh, 
in the last few years and it is going to completely convert the markets. Basically, uh, now many people are started looking uh, this as a subject, uh, but unless you have passion, unless you have interest in the subject, uh, just for making money coming will not make uh, any sense here because it's a very tough subject, it is very hard working uh, because again the same thing, farmer to consumer, at everything is a very big challenge, logistically perishable group within given time it has to reach consumer and temperatures has to maintain. So, it is a relatively tough subject, but any young entrepreneur who is really interested, who want to, many people come to me to for advice in terms of I, I want to set up a farm, dairy farm. So, then I advise them dairy farm is not a lucrative thing. It is you have to have uh, uh, that uh, affinity towards animals. You should love, like it's a growing a pet in your house. Like you should have that connect, passion, and you have to spend time in the uh, farm. You have to stay there. Um, it will not work if you go in a car uh, 100 kilometers by burning for petrol and every day coming. And I want to see on the superficial note that will not work. So you have that. Uh, passion, dedication and you want to stay there and work and you should be satisfied with whatever limited uh, profit. Uh, then you will enjoy the entire activity. The moment you are looking for big, then your this is not your cup of tea. Yeah, you can in the process, money is always a byproduct of your effort. Like if you keep working and someday you will find uh, this rhythm, first you need to understand at the bottom level what are all the nuances, what are all the, all the activities. So that is how okay. it works. Uh, basically subject is continuously growing uh, because uh, economy is growing and uh, consumers uh, um, interest and consumers tastes are uh, growing. Uh, when we started uh, it was only 160 grams uh, per per capita consumption in the country. Uh, now it is uh, 350 grams, so it almost tripled and India is one of the largest milk producing uh, country. So lot of new things have come, new technologies are emerging. So uh, basically we keep abreast with the latest developments, I am uh, part of uh, many trade organizations, I am uh, I'm, uh, in active in Indian Dairy Association. I had uh, president of Indian Dairy Association in this uh, region on the earlier Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. And we keep attending seminars, we keep attending presenting papers. So, uh, basically if you want to learn anything, you need to um, step out and uh, meet people, travel. Uh, at the ground, uh, you observe things. So that is uh, now entire uh, almost uh, across the country dairy industry, wherever any opportunity comes we will not leave, we will go and meet and uh, talk to counterparts or talk to shop floor people like what is happening, how and all. That is how we will keep our knowledge uh, growing.